Welcome to the fabulous Celebration Event Center, home of the Open State. Oh, God, that sounds so formal. We can't do it. I'm sorry. It just seems really dumb. I thought it was a cool idea, but now that I did it, I don't like it. How are you? All right. We, got, we should get all official and be... Th Is everybody sitting and got their drinks? Yeah? I can't say. Hang on. Alica Theater! Ooh. Very dramatic. It's nice. You, you like that, don't you? That's a little... So... Good, good, good instincts. Thank you. Hi, Brett. Brett. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue now. Is that good? Do not complain about dead air. Okay. Hi, Brett. I was gonna start the show. Okay. That kind of night, I see. <laughs> but I even with the and the it was enough. Okay. This. I was gonna thank you. <laughs> How is it? It doesn't work when you do it, Strand. It doesn't work when you do it either. It kind of works when you do it. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. How is everybody? Fantastic. It has been an insane couple of weeks. Uh, we are, as you know, are getting ready to open a show at the Bathhouse Cultural Center called Almost Five. <laughs> Not going to spend a lot of time on it except to use it to set up a, an opportunity to tell you to go buy your tickets. But also, uh, this past weekend, we were at uh, the gallery at Midtown. They do this enormous gallery night, and all of our characters were there and in character, and it was our sort of first time to really roam and wander in these characters. And we had a performance plan, and it was, it was all thought out, and the whole thing went in the toilet. And the reason why was the best of reasons. There was a little kid about this tall, and she got a hold of a chair with wheels on it, and she decided it would be cool to put various per members of our performing company in the chair and push them around the gallery. <laughs> So you have a choice at this point. You can go for your very carefully rehearsed plan or you can let go and let awesome happen because at a certain point you find yourself with a brush in your hand sort of swimming around. <laughs> you know, if you're being pushed by a seven-year-old child while wearing a giant janitor's suit while trying to move yourself around with a mop, general public has no idea what to do with that. <laughs> you, guys, you guys would be like, yeah, that's Russ. But they had no, it was amazing. And while we did the stuff we planned to do, we opened ourselves up to the idea of letting these things happen. And we, we could have ignored it, we could have shut it down, we could have said, okay, give us the damn chair back. We need that. Because I forgot to mention, the chair actually did belong to one of our performers. So what I'm saying is this kid stole one of our props and then kidnapped our performers and drove them around the mall for four hours. <laughs> in the best way, because people were coming up to us going, is the kid in the show? And we're like, we're working on it. <laughs> in, the, in, the end, in the end, it was a great night, and I think I, I want to, before we begin tonight, I wanted to thank you guys, because for three and a half years, you guys taught me how to let go of a perfectly engineered plan and just enjoy the magic that happens when your really good idea lands with those guys. <laughs> The, the rabble and hecklers down front, be warned if you're performing tonight. But the, the fact of the matter is, my plan is great, your jokes are great, but what really is awesome when all of it comes together and something totally unexpected happens and you learn to let go and go with that, it's brilliant. I wanted to just full stop and say thank you guys so much for spending three years teaching me that lesson. Thank you and thank you for the place where I learned it, which is here at the open stage. Yeah. 